We got us another one. Everybody, we have another load of those rolls of pipe. They're a little bit narrower today. I'll show you in a little bit once we stop. I got six rolls on my truck today instead of just five. So we're loaded up and we're going down to Wapton, North Dakota. It's gonna be a good day. We're about four hours away right now. We're just uh, just left the shipper a little while ago. Highway 14 through Winkler to get to the 75, which turns into I-29. It's a bit of a smoother ride than the other Highway 23. A little bit longer, a few miles, but a much smoother ride. check my straps too make sure they're still tight this freight likes to settle I can give you a look at it right now too then I guess I should mark myself as a load check because I'm gonna be checking my load and checking myself out checking me checking you checking me out we got six of these bad boys on here today and they Support it with eight pallets, four on this side, four on that side. A little different than yesterday's. Pedro's got the exact same load as me. <laughs> you look familiar. I keep running into you. It's almost like we're on the same run. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta check my straps too, make sure they're tight. These things like to settle. Hey, we'll see ya. You see these things, they uh, they settle into here as you bump down the road and these straps get looser. You see this, it's a little looser than before. Still tight, but it's a good thing to check them. My wife sends me in the morning. <laughs> Everybody hasn't told you, Dad. I just wanna stop by and say you're looking pretty freaking awesome. Cause you're, cause you are pretty freaking awesome. So have, have yourself a pretty freaking awesome day. Okay. That's it. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Okay. <laughs> Zero and stuff. Bye. Hey! <laughs> Locked and loaded. Let's go.
like I'm empty. It's wonderful. Hey, a big shout out to the guy driving the, uh, was that a lumber truck? A straight truck in Carmen this morning. You saw me turning on to the main drag there and uh, you laid off your, you hung off your air horn for me like I asked you to. I loved it. Thank you. We're rolling south of uh, Grand Forks right now. We're about 15 minutes from Fargo, North Dakota. I-29 southbound. Exit 23. Shouldn't take too long to get these off our trailer. It's a nice thing about this freight is it's super light. You feel like you're empty. It's so light. It takes 15 minutes to load it, 15 minutes to unload it. poker but on a skid steer instead that's pretty cool I'm gonna walk over there too and talk to them Drop the truck off here we're gonna get unloaded right where we sit right here and uh Pedro and I both have new loads tomorrow coming right back here again, so another rounder. with is just the pallets and that piece of cardboard again. I'm going to tie those down, bring them back for tomorrow's load. And that's it. Done. Just got to finish rolling these straps up and tie this down, obviously. One, two, three, four of us. Unloaded and empty. Going back for another one. Another four, I guess.
All right, so I'm in Fargo. I just fueled up and I'm feeling good today. I'm gonna go for my walk. I'm just looking here on the map of uh, where I'm gonna go. So this is Fargo right there, right where we are. There's Grand Forks up there. Camera doesn't really wanna focus on it, but here I'll zoom in. Okay, so there's the city of Fargo, West Fargo. And this is gonna be our route where we walk. We're at the Flying J, which is right here. We're just gonna walk down the street if I put this to satellite, you'll see that uh, on the street here from the Flying J, there's a nice walking path all the way along this street. See that? We're going to go all the way up to this street here, which is get that glare out of there. You can see my reflection too much. It's too bright out here. Here we go. Now we can see. We're going to go to, what is that, 51st Street South from Flying J down 32nd Avenue South. Two and a half kilometers there, two and a half kilometers back, that's five kilometers or three miles. It's interesting. I don't know if it's a coincidence or not, but the Flying J in Fargo and Flying J in Grand Forks, just down the I-29, same road, like they're 45 minutes apart. They're both on 32nd Avenue South. One's 32nd Avenue South Grand Forks. This one's 32nd Avenue South Fargo. Interesting, right? <laughs> so we're going to head west down uh, this 32nd Avenue South and see what we find. very open on this side of Fargo. This is West Fargo. It's a much newer development. I can still remember when this was all just open fields. They got apartments, condos over there. All these businesses up on here. Have to go explore that area sometime too. This whole area is like brand new. Everything. Just massive streets. They've built everything and taken up as much space as possible. I like it. It's beautiful. Can you see that? 1.6 kilometers. So a little less, actually, one more kilometer, a little less than one more kilometer. It might be up to those traffic lights way up there. Two and a half kilometers, and we can turn around. All of these restaurants over here are making me so hungry. They smell so good. There's a tavern grill over there. It's making my mouth water just looking at it. made it back. I need to grab some food, something to drink, and head on back up to Carmen.
let's get these shoes off. So my right foot wasn't quite ready for another three miles, <laughs> but that's okay. I made it go a full three miles anyways. I'll live. It's a long way from the heart. That's what they say, right? It's just a flesh wound. It's just a blister. It's nothing. I thought it had healed already, apparently. <laughs> no, it didn't. it didn't. It's okay, though. It's okay. I shall survive. It's not going to kill me. It'll just make me stronger. Whew. It's hot. Some air conditioning going on up in here. Sweater, I often really need the sweater, but it's to that season right now where you're like, yeah, sometimes you need it, sometimes you don't. Okay, we have another, what, three and a half hours back to Carmen. And we'll do it all over again tomorrow. There's a guy walking his dog right behind my trailer. I wanted to make sure that he didn't let his dog go under the trailer while I was moving away. That's why I was going a little slower. some kind of certificate that says that I no longer have to stop at the weigh scales because I've achieved my goal. I'm really hoping that uh, I can get there before my birthday next year. Before our baby gets here. Wouldn't that be cool to hang that on my wall? Trader Josh is exempt from all scales. He has successfully lost 30 pounds. Congratulations, Trucker Josh. I mean, that'd be a great program to have. Good incentive for drivers to stay healthy. Instead, they want to see how fat I am again today. I'm still probably about 220 pounds, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to spoil it for them, but they want to check. 
So I'm empty right now, and I had a I had a comment in my last video about why would they scale you if you're empty? That's kind of dumb. Well, they're not scaling me. Uh, yeah, I'm driving over the scale here, but notice how the scale is right in front of the scale house. They want me driving right in front of their windows here. Like you'll see all the lights off to the left. It lights up the whole side of my truck. They're gonna scan my license plate, uh, the company name, the uh, you know the DOT numbers any other information they need on the side of my truck they're going to run that information to make sure everything is registered insured legal i'm just going to get the next axle light blinking at me right away i'm sure yeah there it is see they don't really care about my weight they can see i'm empty they do care if i'm uh, running legal or not see there you go you get the happy green light from them you're doing good, Josh. You still gotta lose about 30 pounds, but you're doing good. I'm glad that they care so much, you know? Always checking up on me. Okay, so uh, obviously I'm back in Canada now. We're gonna head to Carmen, and I'll talk to you there. Got another load waiting for us there, going to Wapton. I think I told you this already, probably like five times. I always repeat myself. For you, it was a couple of seconds from the last time I mentioned it. For, for me, it was like a few hours, so I sometimes forget what I've already told you. drive to Wapton was a little bit further it fills up the day a lot more because I stopped for my hour walk yet and uh, it was a good I'm gonna leave here it was about a 12 hour day with everything included so turned out really well I'm not sure if you guys want to see this little blister on my foot <laughs> it doesn't look like much it's, it's pretty painful but uh, it'll probably be better tomorrow again uh, so I'll just warn you now. I'm gonna show it to you. My feet are clean. Don't worry Man, ah. It's right there you see it It's not even filled with any kind of uh, fluid anymore. I don't know if it popped or uh, But it's like going up in between my toes there, right? That's what I'm dealing with. It's just at a bad spot. It's just uncomfortable. It's not bad though I'm sorry your feet disgust you I guess but man eh, it is what it is now you know now I'm just waiting for that to heal up and then we can uh, get more serious about these walks eventually uh, I'd like to start jogging because every walk I take inevitably so I take these nice walking paths right so inevitably there's somebody that goes jogging past and I just want to like yell after them show off thanks for watching today everybody and tagging along with me on my journeys uh, if you want to see my life uh, by the year, I've got uh, over 3,000 videos on YouTube right now. And I've got them all organized into playlists on my main page if you want to go check them out. And they're, I tried to organize them the best I can. And uh, hopefully you like that. And other than that, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody.